In this video, we will use mathematical induction to prove that if there are n people in a room, the maximum number of handshakes possible is n times n minus 1 over 2. Now, I've made an in depth video on induction in the past, and I'll link that video in the top right of the screen right now if you'd like to check it out. But for those of you who just want a quick rundown of what induction is, essentially, to prove a formula using induction, you start by proving that the formula works for a base case, which is typically 1. Then, you assume that the formula works for some number n, and try to prove, based on that assumption, that the formula works for n plus 1 as well. And by doing this, since you've established that the formula works for the base case, and that if the formula works for one number, it works for the next, then since it works for 1, it must work for 2, since it works for 2, it must work for 3, and so on. So if we apply induction to this particular problem, we first need to show that the formula for the number of handshakes works for some base case. When there's only one person in the room, the maximum number of handshakes possible, which I'll abbreviate as n sub h, is 0. And that's because the one person in the room has no one else to shake hands with. Now when we use our formula to determine the maximum number of handshakes in the same scenario, we get 1 times 0 over 2, because once again, n is 1, and this is also 0. And so we verified that our formula works for the base case. Now for the actual induction step, we are assuming that the number of handshakes possible in a room of n people is n times n minus 1 over 2. And based on this, we are trying to prove that when there are n plus 1 people in the room, the maximum number of handshakes possible is n plus 1 times n over 2. Now let's use this circle to simulate the room of n people. Say that all n people in this room have shaken hands. We are assuming that the maximum number of handshakes possible up to this point is n times n minus 1 over 2. Now say that an n plus 1th person enters the room. This new person now has to shake hands with all n other people in the room, which means that the new total number of handshakes is what it was plus n. Now once again, what this sum represents is the number of handshakes possible in a room of n plus 1 people. And so now essentially all that's left to do is to prove that these two expressions are the same. So if we begin to simplify the expression on the right a little bit, we get n squared minus n over 2 plus 2n over 2. And if we combine the terms now, we get n squared minus n plus 2n, which is just plus n over 2. And if we simplify this just one step further by factoring out the n, we get n times n plus 1 over 2. And so we've proven that when there are n plus 1 people in the room, the number of handshakes possible is n times n plus 1 over 2. And this is all based on the assumption that our formula works when there are n people in the room. And so ultimately, what we've done here in the second step is prove that if the formula works for a given number, it works for the next number as well. And so just to recap, we showed in the first step that the formula works for n equals 1. And if it works for n equals 1, then it must work for the next number, n equals 2 as well. And if it works for n equals 2, then it must work for n equals 3, and so on and so on. And that's all there is to proving this formula by induction. 